Hi everyone and welcome back to the Class 47 Peter YouTube channel and today's video is going to be a review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Hornby Class 153 now I have reviewed one of these models before in the past which you can you can find that video on my YouTube channel I will either put a link in the description below to that video or I'll put in the YouTube card on this video but I have reviewed one of these models before that model I reviewed was in the Areva trains livery which I had for a good few years and then I sold it off and the reason I sold it off is because I wanted to get one in a different livery and I wanted to get one in a livery as I remember seeing them when I was little and the liveries I remember seeing them when I was a, a lad was in the re regional railways livery and this one the central trains livery I wanted the central trains livery one and this model came from Hatton's it's a pre-owned model and I got this for a very good price which this was up for sale at £64, which I think that's a bargain, because I think today they cost around 80 or 90 quid. So I think for this, it's a bargain. It had to be done as well. And I do like the 153s as well, so I had to have one of these for the layout. So with the packaging removed from the box, you can see that this model comes in the polystyrene packaging. In the box we have the instruction manual for the class 153 which I'm not going to go through it all and read it all out because you've all seen it before. So we're all, it's something we're all used to basically so I won't bore you with reading through that. And then we have the DCC jackets as well which they don't supply anymore with their models. And we also have a little accessory bag, just here. And I'm using the tweezers to pull this out because I haven't got any fingernails. And in this little bag, we just have a couple of NEM Slim Tension Lock couplings, as you can see. With the model now removed from the box, the first thing that my attention is drawn to is the livery. I mean, I really do love this livery. You know, it really is quite an attractive colour scheme. There's quite a lot going on in this livery. You've got this nice bright green on the body sides. Then you've got the darker green along the bottom there. You've also got the black around the windows there, the yellow doors and the grey roof. So it is quite a very attractive colour scheme. and the paint scheme on this it's spot on all the colours are correct and there's a very nice even coat of paint with no errors in the paintwork it's a nice crisp paint job on the body sides we have the Central Trains logo and the website URL which are both crisply applied on the sides of the body I'm also drawn to the amount of rivets that are on the body sides, which with the real 153s, they do have a lot of rivets on the body sides, and that has been captured superbly. And there's even quite a bit of rivet detail on the roof as well. With the seating interior, you can see the seats are painted in a nice blue colour. Now, what I might do at a later date is put some seated passengers in this model. I might even put a driver and a guard in as well because I did do that with the last 143 model I had so I might do it later on with this model and there's also glazing in all the windows as well now the 153's are quite distinct because they do have two different cab ends because the 153's in real life were converted from 155's and so they had two different cabs, one of them being the original cab from the 155 and the other one 
was a non-original cab. So this cab here would be the original cab from the 155. And then this cab is the non-original cab. So this is the well this in real life would be the brand new cab. And this was done basically to make them single car units. And this is something that Hornby has captured really really well on the model. Something else that Hornby has done really well is they've captured the overall look of this model amazingly well. Because the model looks exactly as the real 153 does. And so you've got details such as the separately fitted window wipers. The hand rolls at the ends, now they are moulded, but you have to look really closely at them to tell that they're moulded. So it is done quite clever. And the model does have working lights as well on both ends. Something else I love about this model are the destinations in the destination boards. On this end the destination board says Warsaw and the destination board on the other end says Wolverhampton. Now what I love about this is that both of these stations Warsaw and Wolverhampton are located in the West Midlands which is where I live but also I've always wanted to own a DMU or a rail car or any form of unit in double O gauge that has these destinations in the destination boards so you know that's that's something I love that's a, a thumbs up that is for me and also these 153's they did in real life in single car formations they did run from Warsaw to Wolverhampton in fact I remember as a kid seeing these a few times at Wolverhampton running this said service I even went to New Slane Level Crossing which is located near Wolverhampton and I remember seeing these go past. So here we are at my layout, Fox Hill Junction, and we've now come onto the running performance for the 153. And as you can see, she's a smooth runner. There's no motors burning out or any grinding noises. She runs exactly as she should straight from the box. And a very smooth runner she is as well. She will need some running in now, like all models. As I mentioned earlier, the model has working lights, so they are working directional lights, which I'm going to show you now. So they are white when the model is coming towards you. and going away from you the lights are red so basically these are head and tail lights so what do I think of the Hornby 153? well in all honesty I can't fault it it's one of Hornby's best models I think and it's certainly up there and so I do highly recommend that you buy one of these so if you don't have a 153 yet go out and buy one because you won't be disappointed so thank you Hornby for giving us the opportunity to have this model on our layouts it's just so nice to have a 153 in the fleet again I'd also like to thank Hattons for their service as well as DPD as well for their service as well for bringing the model and so yeah I think it's a brilliant model and definitely well worth the money whatever price you pick these up for it's definitely worth it so it's definitely a model that I recommend so that brings me on to the end of this review of the Hornby Class 153. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so yet. And don't forget to check out all my other videos. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.